all the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold. Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience... The McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself, trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of motivation. He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Conor McGregor steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. So here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple. He can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing the finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. All right, with that, the wait for live action ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are ready and raring to go here at United Center in Chicago. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ilya El Matador And there's Herb Dean. Good he fight. will handle the action Good. inside the octagon. Good. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when a window opens to close the show, more than likely, he'll close it. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh, got the hand free and landed out of the clinch position. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at.
sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Just out of range with that strike. Topodia goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area. And now he's dealing with a cut. Nice strike. Two minutes remain in the round. Topodia gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Cap kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Better check those kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Nice positional control here. Moving his head here on the ground, Shane. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. McGregor's back in full mount. Beautiful ground and pound approach, and now his opponent is starting to swell. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. His work, I'm going to stand this up. Worker from the top here. Pretty good ground and pound here by McGregor. Uh, all right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. Right, come on. Topodia going for the body. Missed with that kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, nice. Nice. Topodia's eye is starting to swell shut. First round winding down here. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stool. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by McGregor. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston in the hands of him. It's like an atom bomb. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him in Eddie Alvarez. How every time he's... Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to... So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that kept getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the blood. Oh, still hurt. Look at this. He can't even stand. Oh, 
so pretty good recovery by the opponent. Oh, man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. So he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing... Oh! Blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him oh. 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 Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left.